After using the S23 Ultra for the past few weeks and the S21 Ultra for the past few years, there are four big improvements Samsung has made to the S23 Ultra that really stand out to me. The first is the phone's feel. It's more chunky feeling, and that's because Samsung just made this phone more easier to grip. The bottom and top are also thicker to accommodate the S Pen and more on that later. And even though it feels slightly larger and more chunky, weirdly that ends up making it feel not as heavy. Like when I look at the weight of this phone on paper as a spec, and then I pick this phone up, it just doesn't feel as heavy as it actually is. So kudos to Samsung for achieving that. Now, the second thing that I've really noticed that's different with the S23 Ultra from the S21 Ultra is screen brightness, specifically with outdoor use. When I was out doing camera comparison shots between the two phones, the S23 Ultra's screen was noticeably brighter than the S21 Ultra's screen. The S23 Ultra's display is rated for a peak brightness of 1750 nits versus 1500 for the S21 Ultra, but that difference felt way more substantial than those numbers would have you believe. The third big difference between these two phones is the camera system. While they both have the same general setup with their camera systems with a 0.6x, 1x, 3x, and 10x optical zoom, and the images they take are pretty similar, there are some noticeable differences. The main wide camera sensor on the S23 Ultra has been improved to now boast 200 megapixels. That gets you better shots in low light and less noise in shadows. Video stabilization has also substantially been improved with the 10X optical camera, which is a much more usable camera sensor now. Autofocus with the 10X on faraway objects like a plane has also been improved. Another vast improvement I noticed between the S21 Ultra and the S23 Ultra is the S23 Ultra's video audio quality specifically its ability to cut out wind noise. Here's the S21 Ultra. And here's how the S23 Ultra sounds. The last big difference I've noticed so far with the S23 Ultra is the S Pen, which Samsung first introduced into the Ultra line of Galaxy phones with last year's S22 Ultra. The S Pen has been around for a few years now. It was originally on the Galaxy Note line, which Samsung discontinued a few years back, and it allows you to do some pretty nifty things with a smartphone, like take a photo while being in it by pressing the S Pen's button to trigger the S23 Ultra's shutter. You can write directly on the calendar, use it as a magnifier, write on your phone screen when it's turned off, smart select text and images, convert handwritten notes to text, handwrite in any text box, quickly take a note, and mark up and edit PDFs. So that's everything that's really stuck out to me between the S20 Ultra and the S21 Ultra I previously owned. But is it worth upgrading to the S23 Ultra? In general, based on my experience with the S23 Ultra so far, I would say no. Even with the 450 US dollar trading credit I got for the S21 Ultra, plus a free case for the S23 Ultra and a pair of Galaxy Buds Pro 2, which all included is a pretty generous pre-order offer, I'd still say you're better off saving your money and that's because because even though I like the S23 Ultra a lot, for S21 Ultra owners, I think if you spent the money and upgraded to this phone, you're just going to be kind of like, they kind of change the form factor, the camera's slightly better, and you get an S Pen. But I'm not sure you're really going to feel like that money was well spent. On the flip side, if you're just in the market for a new phone, for whatever reason, your phone broke, it doesn't work, it's slow, yada, 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 and you're looking at Samsung and you want the best possible photo quality from a smartphone camera that Samsung makes, or you're just really interested in the S Pen, so far with my experience with the S23 Ultra, I think you're gonna be really happy with the experience that you get with this phone. And I'll have much more to say on this phone in our full six months later review of it later in the year. Now, if you're interested in the S21 Ultra, which you can still find at some retailers for much less than this phone costs, the next video you should watch is our full six months later review of that device, which you can get to by clicking on the thumbnail here. Now, if you've already upgraded to the S23 Ultra, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I've left purchase links here in this video and in the description below, so you can check the current prices of both the S21 Ultra 
Ultra as well as the S23 Ultra. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more smartphone comparison videos like this one. Thanks for watching.